I also have one from Nelly here. He just talked about youths not ready. Yeah. Afunelli, what do you think? The youths are ready, sir. I beg to disagree because I am ready. Well, just like Edmond would say, speak for yourself. Let me give you <laughs> another scenario. I remember very well about just before the 2019 election, I saw Suwore saying he want to be president. He engaged an interview with uh, Shitu. The interview was so interesting that day, I followed it from the beginning to the end. She did not say, Shiwore, you should be serious and go and start from somewhere. In fact, go and contest for counselorship because you are inconsequential. Shiwore took him up. That look, somebody like me, I know what I'm doing, which is true. I've, I have this record that you don't have. I was one of the people that put you there. You are not working hard. I appreciate Shiwore because in communication today, he has raised the standard of putting people on their toes. Give it to him. No doubt about that. And he's very, he has gone. But where I thought, personal opinion, that you should start from is, it's not until you contest before you can put an impact on Nigeria. He should have been able to carve a niche for himself. That youth, my age, let's do one thing. Let's make sure we campaign for the people that have track record. Let's make sure we put the youth that can do the right thing so that we'll be able to take this country where we ought to be. By saying you want to contest for presidency from there, you are just making the thing becoming a laughing stock. But he made a point. What's the point? He has made the point. What's the point? He contested. He ran the race. He ran the race. Yes, you must not win. You must not win. Yes. Uh, okay, me, I, 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 I'm happy you It's not that. desperate like the Buhari is an article. Oh. So Who turned the land into desolation? Let me tell you one thing. Edmond, I will appreciate you to go and contest so that you will know that a lot of people are contesting and they are losing. As if you are, will be happy if I'm here today, I come here as a loser. Nobody wants to go to the field and contest and lose, as if it happened. Okay. When the people spoke, that look, we don't want you. But the young but, people don't have money to throw around. They don't have money, but you are collecting money when you are voting. How much is it? Even if it's one, that the reason why you shouldn't collect. No, sir. The you reason have, why you they, have put them in that in that uh, you know cave. Oh, so because somebody offer and somebody put you in that cave. I don't and accept. Get, and listen, my but sister. these people are hungry. Hungry with hundred naira on the, the day of you, election. You place them in abject poverty, so they have no. So the one thousand naira on the day of election would not put you into riches. You want oh, well, them to die when the there's food to eat. When they, uh, there's food to eat on that day. Yes. The, the moment you eat that day, the following day, they, you continue. Are members of the political class not impoverish the people and mm -hmm. expose them to such temptations? Edmond, in developed world or everywhere in the world, there's poverty. The moment you must be able to have principle, this part of the thing, whenever I come for interview, I always want to hammer it. The moment you continue thinking that because we are poor, because we are poor, other countries that are poor people, but they use their thumb to decide the destiny of the country, mm. which is the most important thing. And that is what you call for. That's exactly. That the Nigerian youth must rise we up to the right challenge. To the the challenge is it's not 1,000 there on the day of election. What are you telling me? All right. Okay. What are you telling him? <laughs> Call the studio number. You can say hello to Senator Fatai Buhari. He just won a second term. Thank God. And I congratulate him. I know. I know him to a very good extent. <laughs> but sadly, I cannot endorse people. You can call 080-915-510-55. Hello. Hello. Yes, good morning. All right. I appreciate Senator Buhari. Very, very well. I've been following his track since when he was out of rape. He's a very, very good man and very, very fast attack. And I want to say about the youth. Youth, please, please, and please, go and face your book and read the tree <laughs> before you join politics. So, what is happening now? What is happening even in your schools where you have, where you, where you have uh, SUGs? Don't you see? Is, is, uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, Mark from Cookie. It's not, it's, not, it's not a youth. What is he doing in the Senate? Exactly. Yeah, they, they say, uh, exactly. They say, uh, what do you call it? You know. <laughs> is he not, it's not, uh, 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 it's not a youth. They, uh, how can, say, you, how uh, can uh, you say uh, Dino is a youth <laughs> at that uh, age? Uh, uh, don't we grow up in Nigeria? How old is he? Is he not more than 40? Yes, more than 40. He's more than 40. What did he do after, uh, after school? After, after from politics? 
Let me tell you one thing. The, what, the problem in Nigeria is so serious that we need to do a serious study, go and set up a syllabus to, from primary school to change our narratives. How much book did Buhari read? <laughs> Muhammad <laughs> Buhari, how much books did he read? Thank you. The people who say Buhari is not doing do well. Jonathan read so many books. What happened? Thank you. You are now processing my point. What I'm saying is this. Change the slabs from schools. So that we will know that corruption is bad right from our, our uh, young age. All right. If we don't do that, if we don't do that, corruption is our main problem. And all these youth is out there. The time is the youth. They are only looking for their own time. So they are not serious about that at all. Okay. Very, very few of them. It's okay. Very few of them. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> You know, you are taking on the youth, taking on the youth. <laughs> Is society not a design of leadership? If leadership fails, you think the youths will fly, Senator Buhari? Well, you are absolutely right. You see, one of the few things I appreciate is that our youth are very good. They can learn. Let me give you. I'm in charge of cybercrime. Yeah. And whenever there are a lot of reports... And you now see the ingenuity in our youth, you'll be amazed. So I'll now be wondering, God, why can't you use this talent on another thing that can help the society? Same leadership. It's leadership that has less potential. Is that not true? You told me the story, your story of Korea. Yes. When you visited that, that South Korea. I was about saying it. Yes. I was about saying it again. Uh, what you saw wowed you. Yes. Did they have to wait for the youth to come and build that? Listen, listen, Edmund. Nobody asked them to go and do this crime. If somebody is, we have what is called startup. Some of our boys in Nigeria, in particular, one of the agency I'm supervising, NISDA, we have almost 40 youth to start up. They've given them money, they've given them. And if you see what they are doing, other people can emulate them. So give them money. That is why you have your budget for constituency. Yeah, that's what we do. Now, do that. you monitor the empowerment you give? Yes, of course. Did, did you follow them to see if they are making progress? Of course, so I do that. I, I do that. The one so, that, are you happy with what you're seeing? I'm happy with some. So, okay, let me give you an, an example. There's a guy that we gave him money to start a business. He started the business just only five days. The next thing I had is that he's not in Dubai. He has gone. Is he not business too? Which kind of business? He wants that? to be an international business Businessman, man. okay. Uh, anymore, the moment you open other branches, I will call you so that at least we'll go and open together with you. It's not in the Dubai. So we, that's what we are saying. You see, we need, like the man said, we need a lot of orientation for you. The full job, or even the now, not the full job, belongs to them. This is our country. Afronelli, come in here. Come in. I don't see a future that belongs to the youth when you are still in. You know, but it, it's not service. too old. Uh, no, let's ask what is our old. definition of youth? What's in the, Nigeria. What's the definition of youth? I think it's supposed to be from 18 to 25. Bonelli, are you saying by the time I'm 70, I shouldn't <laughs> run for president? No, I just want to get that clear. You can't, it can't get to your turn. <laughs> Why? From the statistics. statistics. It, it can't. I mean, no, you are saying I think he's likely to come back again. Okay. okay. Maybe when he's 80. Okay. And then you just mentioned that he's not God and Governor Jumobi should. I mean, you people should retire now. We will be retired. We are ready, my sister. Be serious. Let's see seriousness. We are you. serious. You are not. You have. Tell me. You, you know, you have clapped our wings. My sister, at the last election, being a youth, tell me only one role you play. You didn't cut it, but tell me only one role. Okay, let me tell okay. you about Afronelli. I didn't just invite her here. <laughs> you see what she's wearing? Yeah. My environment, my wealth. I, I, I listened to her. Yes, this is a, a, a she's, lady. She's looking for money. No. <laughs> My, my environment, my well. What's the definition of well? She, she, okay. <laughs> are you looking for money? Sir, I am not looking for money. What are you looking for? Wealth is impact. You know, it's posterity. It's uh -huh. not It's not about Then remove cash. the word wealth. No, That's sir. That's my environment. Uh -huh. mm -mm. The cleanliness of I my environment. I am tr trying to educate society to know that they can generate wealth from you know, trash, waste mm. to wealth. Mm -hmm. And that is ideal for any growing society. And, New innovations and, are welcome, right? And then when they Sustainable are development goals. And then when they are doing that, they will give them stone. They won't give them money. They told me you are, you, you, are, just, you, you just are moving from the world of Otako, looking for money. You tell me... Looking for <laughs> trash <laughs> to convert to wealth. So exactly. Now, so That's you said initiative. in the cost that of That is your... an initiative that is appreciable. Mm. One is impressed. But don't, so, don't shy away so from me. It's should your, I? It's your, it's your brain. It's very the other people will learn from you. Say it here so that other people can say, Oh, 
There is wealth so in you, trash. So you appreciate what he is doing. I appreciate doing. what you are doing, but don't deny it, please. Sir, Uma, we will encourage you. Uh, in fact, look for I am not for denying me. anything. Uh -huh, look for I for graduated me. from the University of Ibadan. Okay. I served in Oyo. I redeployed to Ibadan, okay. and I got a state commendation award from the NYC. Brilliant. After then, yeah. of course, the the situation of the country is so terrible that I cannot begin fully employed. Unlike your days mm -hmm. when certain things were really available, how do you a know car, I was a job. Like this? You know, in your days, that's how it was. But now, I've been able to start up something that incorporates other young people. They volunteer for the course. I have not been paid for the past four years. Nobody pays I me. I will recommend your project to Senator Fatai exactly. Buhari. Fatai Buhari, yeah. you need to know Nelly Afrunelli. She's a shining star. I, I appreciate her, and I can see that potential in her. But on one condition, <laughs> she should admit that this thing we are doing is not for free. The potential is that they, I can also recommend her. In the uh, committee on environment, they can assist her. They can put all these things is money. It will help her, and then she can also use that to train other people, and other sure. people can look at her to grow up. That okay. is the youth. All right, we'll come to that before we round off, <laughs> Senator Fatai Buhari. Yes. What is the calculation in for the leadership? Are you sure the APC will get it right this time? Oh, so sure. what, what is the calculation? Let me tell you. This time around, we have sixty-six senator in APC. We have 42 in PDP, mm. and then we have one in y, YYP from Anambra. So, and which we are trying to add hunting, and he's already working with us. You already had hunting. No, of course, why won't you add hunting? It's politics, it's lobby. You, you, you attract him, you call him. In fact, let me open it for you. When we went to the last meeting with the president, he was among the. I team. saw him there. He was there. Yes. We were there together. So, we are adhunting. So, find you bow will soon be a member of APC. We, oh, that's, what the, that's the policies, uh, Edmund. So we are now 67 with him. And then that 67, by the time the party decision come up finally, and we go to the pool on the floor that day, you don't need an APC. But you have, must take precaution. The precaution is that even in the, among that 66, there are some people from the Northeast where the senior presidency was zoned to that may say, look, I also contest. It happened at the last yeah, session. Aline Dume is one. Aline Dume is one. I... Goje is one. Yeah. Abubakar Kiari is one. Those are the four people that are ranking senators that are from the southeast. Out of uh, this... The northeast. The northeast, sorry. Yeah. Out of these four people, one of them... You know one funny thing? With the exception of Goje, the remaining three, all of us were in the House of Rep together. Abubakar Kiari, Aline Dume, and Ahmed Lawa. And then based on this interest, by the time the leaders from the Northeast call them and then they agree, we may likely have an unopposed. But if they decided that, look, they want to go to the pool, it may be two. But it won't be like the last time that anybody can just nominate. If, if somebody is coming, it will definitely come from that Northeast. So once beaten to a shy. Once beaten to a shy. Nobody with Saraki, the APC anymore. I doubt. And nobody with Tambua, the APC. I doubt. They've learned their lesson. They've learned their lesson. We have learned our lesson. So what are you looking out for? Will you want to be chief whip? Chief whip? Mm. Well, the truth of the matter is... Because you are a ranking senator. Three times in yeah. the National Assembly. What I'm, I did to tell you is that the remaining five other positions has not been zoned. We are expecting the party to talk on it in the next couple of days. That time, I will be able to weigh my options. Oji Kalu is threatening fire. Oji Kalu has no any experience. I don't know how to do the... Did you just uh, say that? Yes. yes it's not, it's he not said a, he's a two-time governor. He has links around the country. That's, his, that's his, that, Even saying that alone, I assume that he does not know what is going on in the <laughs> National Assembly. Even saying that alone. We are not talking about governorship. We have 14 governors in the 17th and uh, in the 8th Assembly. We have... Samegu. Samegu was a two-time governor. He was a two-time minister. We have Goje. He was a two-time governor, a two-time minister. We have Abdullah Adamu. He was a two-time governor, a one-time a one, a one minister. Uh, we have Abia State Governor. The name just... Theodore Oji. Theodore Oji. Yeah. He was a, a two-time... Uh, there are many in Senate. So uh, Oji, Oji Kalu would do nothing? If there's nothing he would do. He just ran he just, He's normal. You know he has a newspaper. And if, if he messes up, he'll be dealt with like no, a Kurucha, right? Nobody will dealt with him. He has the right to aspire. If a certain they want us to do one thing, that look, any senator, no matter where you come from, you are entitled to contest. No qualms. They can change the rules. Now, before you go, Shea Makinde will be the governor. Come May 29th, how do you feel? Nothing. It's a Nigerian. I just told you even before we started this interview that 
Donc, from 1999, I'm not working in the state. I'm not working in the state. I'm not working I'm not working in the state. 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 This is my state. He will call me. I will call him. They will, during the course of the job, we'll have a lot of things to interact with. I hope you have introduced Kola Balogun to the intrigues already. No, he has to come and learn. He has to come and learn. He has he called you yet? Oh, we, we, we know we are doing induction now. Okay. We know each other before now, so okay. but he has to come and learn. The intrigues is a different ball game mentally. But he, he has an advantage. His senior brother was a senator before, so he can, if he like, he can learn from home. Okay. <laughs> he can learn from home. When he has from Nelly. <laughs> Your work will continue. Definitely. And you keep showing the light, right? Definitely. What's your advice for Nigerian youth? Oh, well, they've heard from the senator until he sees seriousness. Uh, it, it seems there are just a few of us who are serious. And um, today happens to be the International Day of Sports. For those of the youth who are interested in sports, there, there's a way we can drive sports, uh, you know, peace and development and uh, channel our youthful exuberance to promoting and um, adopting new innovations in society and sit up. That's the truth. I, I can but agree with the senator. Most of us are really relaxed. I wouldn't say lazy, but really relaxed. You, we need to sit up. And you have the capacity to change the state. Definitely. We have the willpower. We have the strength. We have the well without. We just need to make up our minds and harness our energies. Yes, follow one hour from early on social media. Find her on Instagram. Find her on Facebook. Find her on Twitter. And you can find me too on Instagram, on Twitter. You can find me on LinkedIn, on Facebook. Join my conversation. Watch my videos on my page. Send me some messages. Tell me a story too. Let me know what's going on in your area. And if I have the strength, I will always come in. Senator Fatai Buhari, thank you for featuring on State of First. Thank you, Edmond. Anytime. And Wone Afunelli, thank you for coming. Thank you very well, much, sir. <laughs> I worked with Bosun Alayo Day to bring you this edition of State Affairs. I am Edmund Obilo. Thank you for listening.